In this video, we talk about understanding West Coast swing music as a salsa dancer. Hey guys, Brian B, West Coast Swing Online, and we're talking about how to understand West Coast swing music coming from a salsa dance background. So in salsa, we have a, a basic pattern that's very repeatable. Um, the basic in and of itself is very easy. Obviously, salsa is very difficult, but in the beginning, the basic is fairly simple, and it matches eight beats of music. So if we look at eight beats of music in salsa, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And often we'll think one, two, three, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Or quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And so all that matches eight beats, and it stays that way throughout the song. It's very simple to think about from a music perspective. But now we have West Coast Swing, and when we begin, we learn six count basics. So our six count basic would be one, two, three, and four, five, six, or sorry, five and six. Let me count that again. This is really the way it goes. One, two, three, and four, five and six. That would be my, my sugar push, my side pass, my inside turn, my tucks. But the problem is, is the music still has a seven and an eight. So when I begin the next pattern, I'm beginning my walk walk on a 7-8 and that starts to throw us for a loop. So I want to take you, take your brain away from the 8 beats matching the 8 beats because it doesn't. And instead, I want you to focus on 2, 4, 6, and 8 of the music in West Coast Swing. So I'm listening to 8 beats of music, I'm thinking 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6, seven and eight, I'm thinking of those whole beats. Much the same as the slows in salsa, those are gonna kind of anchor, no pun intended for West Coast Swing, those are gonna kind of anchor me to the music. So we're gonna come right back and give a little demonstration and we're gonna talk and I'm gonna have Miss Megan come in here and we're gonna demonstrate how you can think about this to overcome how we have a six count basic to eight count music. Okay, I'm back with Miss Megan, and let's go ahead and dance through kind of what we talked about in theory. So, of course, in salsa, we'll just go down two hands so we can see this. In salsa, we would have a one, two, three, five, six, seven, right? We'd have one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. So, any way you slice it, we have eight beats of pattern matching eight beats of music. It's nice and neat and tidy, and we're done, right? Doesn't freak us out. But in West Coast Swing, we still have 4-4 music, which means eight beats of music, but we have a six count basic. So if I use my sugar push, right, this being my sugar push, I have a problem. I dance one, two, three, and four, five, and six, but the music continues with seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four. now I'm a mess, now I'm a mess. So um, we have an entire musicality video that talks in, in detail about West Coast Swing musicality. So if you're interested in that, you can click on this link, you can go ahead and get that, and it will cover everything you need to know about West Coast Swing music. But what we're concerned with here is taking salsa dancers and letting them jump over this whole six count to eight count thing. So let's help wrap your head around that concept. So I wanna first introduce you to a very, very basic drill. We're just gonna do tap steps. We're gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna triple those. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Then Megan's gonna tap step and I'm gonna triple step. And two, three and four, five and six. And we're gonna switch and she triples. Two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you rewind this video when we did the West Coast Swing little musical timeline, I underlined two, four, six and eight. Those are always whole beats, and those beats are always gonna be whole beats. I'm not gonna triple two and three, right? So if we look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Even when I add my triples, one and two is a whole beat, three and four is a whole beat, five and six is a whole beat, seven and eight's a whole beat, right? So. I'm gonna think of those, I want you to think of this dance in two beat increments, but I'm gonna come back to that in just a second. Let's use a whip, because that matches evenly eight beats of our dance to eight beats of the music, but it's gonna help us understand two, four, six, and eight. One, two, we triple step, three and four, that's a whole beat, we walk five, six, that's a whole beat, seven and eight, that's a whole beat, right? So we would agree that two, four, six, and eight are always there. 
Now let's dance a couple quick patterns. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. But we still have the problem of how do we navigate six count patterns to eight count music. And I want you to think of it in two beat increments. So if we go back to this drill, instead of thinking eights, let's just think um, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We triple one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. So if I go back to my, my West Coast swing music, one, two, one and two, one and two, one, two, one and two, one, two, one and two, one, two, one and two, one and two, one, two. Does that make sense? So the easiest way, because it absolutely does not match the music, um, that's what makes this a crazy dance and very difficult to learn in the beginning. So I want you to think of it as in two beat increments held by the two, four, six, and eight of the music. So if you can find that pulse using this drill, right, and that will help you overcome dancing six count patterns to eight count music. Now, if you want the next step, and I sometimes call this my biggest key to musicality, it's what I call counting straight eights. And I've got another video that we already did. So if you click on the link up here, um, you can go ahead and enter your email address and I'll send you my video counting straight eights for West Coast Swing. And that really is the next level beyond mastering this six to eight count thing salsa to West Coast Swing. But it will help you dive into the next level of musicality for West Coast Swing. And it's my favorite West Coast Swing musicality video that we've made so far. So thanks for checking us out. Um, go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe to the channel. We put out content twice a week. So uh, thanks gang. We'll see you on the dance floor soon.